Well, back on the presidential campaign trail, both President Donald Trump and challenger Joe Biden making campaign stops in Florida. That is a key state for Election Day success. Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer has our recap. Dueling rallies in the same battleground state. In my, our home state, Florida. President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden both competing for votes in the all-important battleground state of Florida. If Florida goes blue, it's over. Florida is up for grabs on Tuesday with each working to seal the deal. We did it. Now we're doing it again. My first lady wants to do it again. President Trump is banking on his home state advantage and surprise supporters with a speech from his wife, First Lady Melania Trump. Under my husband's leadership, our nation is respected again. Both candidates brought up the coronavirus crisis facing the country, but shared different approaches to defeat the pandemic. I'm not going to shut down the economy. I'm not going to shut down the country, but I'm going to shut down the virus. We're never going to lock down again. We locked down, we understood the disease, and now we're open for business, and that's what it is. Supporters crowded together during President Trump's Tampa rally, even though two people at his rally last week in North Carolina tested positive for the coronavirus. President Trump's super spreader events and he's spreading more virus around the country. Biden stayed in Florida for a second rally in Tampa while the president returned to North Carolina, both vying for a victory in these key swing states. In Washington, I'm Kelly Meyer, KCAU 9 News.